I know what you're thinking. The Adam Project, my name is Adam. Whoa, <laughs> this is awesome. I should like this movie, but I don't. It's funny because I recently reviewed Turning Red and one of the big criticisms some people had was it's not relatable. First off, that's a really stupid criticism. Secondly, my name's Adam. I lost a father at a young age like the character in this, and yet I feel no attachment to this film at all. So, <laughs> relatability is overrated. The plot's very straightforward. Futuristic pilot Adam crash lands into the past where he runs into himself, accidentally. He meant to go a couple years earlier to save his wife, but uh, you know, he pushed some buttons wrong, he was in a hurry, and you know, here he is. Ryan Reynolds plays this character while Walker Scobell plays the younger version. For a little while, it is fun to watch these two interact with each other and see who can be the biggest smartass, but after an hour and 45 minutes, I just want the thing to be over with. There's so many quips happening and interactions while guns are firing in the background and it's life and death situation. Hurry up and get the job done. You don't have to keep trying to one-up each other. And once Mark Ruffalo shows up, it's a threesome of sarcasm I just can't even handle anymore. And I am a sarcastic prick myself, so seeing all of this sarcasm unfold is like listening to myself for two hours, and that, that's just miserable. This is directed by Sean Levy, who recently did Free Guy, and he's penned to do Deadpool 3. This feels very small in comparison to those movies, or I assume what Deadpool 3 will be. The effects are fine-ish. They're, they're, they're okay. It just has a very small scale to it. It feels very cheap, like everything's shot in front of a green screen, which it most likely is. If you're looking forward to Zoe Saldana, look somewhere else. She maybe has 15 minutes of screen time in this. Katherine Keener plays the villain. She's serviceable at best. There's just really not a lot happening in this film. For starters, the script is like a writing 101 starter pack. The kid lost his dad. The kid gets bullied at school. A mentor comes along and shows him how to deal with these obstacles. In this case, it's his older self. This is all very standard stuff, kind of wrapped inside of a time travel story that really doesn't have a lot of interesting time travel stuff going on. Ryan Reynolds does have a futuristic staff that he triggers on, which the kid jokingly refers to as a lightsaber like five times. It doesn't really even look like a lightsaber. It's more of an electric rod. Uh, he does some cool stuff with it. He's spinning it around. There's some slow motion here and there. He slams the ground with it. Sends a shockwave out. These guys time jump into the battle and then get wiped away just as easy. When the action is present, it's fine. Everything about this movie is fine, serviceable, generic. That is until the last 20 minutes where I'm just bored and want it to be over, which is why I say I don't really like this movie. It never hits a peak, there's no crescendos, there's no aha moments, it's just stale, dull. I mean, what were we expecting from a film called The Atom Project? It's in the name, Atom. Worthless, useless, completely unremarkable. Hey mom, it's Adam. Olinger, your, your son, yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to hear your voice. Maybe, maybe you could tell me everything's gonna be okay. Feeling a little down these days, wondering if you could. What? Oh, Jake's there. How, how is he, he's good? Great, okay, well, tell my brother I said, and mom, she hung up. She hung up. I feel like this review's three minutes long because there's just nothing to say about it. I, I, there, there's not one moment that stands out. So, I guess to summarize, The Atom Project is something you don't need to ever watch, but if you are incredibly bored and have seen literally every other movie ever created, give it a shot. It's a Netflix film! Thanks for watching the video. Did The Atom Project blow you away? Let me know in the comments below. Is it the next Back to the Future? I mean, the young Adam has a vest like Marty McFly and there were hoverboards, so maybe, maybe we're getting something there. No, we're not. Feel free to like the video if you enjoyed the review. Subscribe if you haven't. I post movie content constantly on this channel and hopefully I'll see you next time. Yes, mom, I'm still doing movie reviews. I know that YouTube doesn't pay out very well. Well, what, can I just, I just wanted some support. Mom, I just wanted some support. Of course, yeah, get the key shout. Don't let me keep you. <laughs> I'm just trying to get some, hello?
Yeah.